Hey everyone, my name is American. Welcome to a brand new and final review for The Mentalist Season 6, Episode 22, titled Blue Bird. Notice how I said final review and not final video? Hmm? Huh? More on that later. You know, you 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 wish for things to happen, and when they do, you're like, I I wasn't prepared for this, so there's just this is gonna be a very difficult video, so please. Please forgive me if I ramble, because there are going to be some rambling. Now you know the drill before we talk about what worked and what didn't work in this episode. Let's first talk about the story. You know what? Screw that. I'm not even talking about the story. Let's just move on to what worked. Jane closing that first case was masterful. I mean, the man was clearly distracted. I mean, super freaking distracted, but... He closed that case like a boss. Took him two seconds. The show is not called The Mentalist for nothing. Jane is truly The Mentalist. Now, I know that whole Jane tricking Lisbon and pretty much the entire FBI to come on a fake case was kind of messed up, but at the same time, it was fun. It was fun to watch. It was fun to have Jane make her solve it. And she's like, I did it, I did it. I thought that was so cute! It was all kind of sweet. I know, weird. Weird in a weird way, but kind of sweet. I have to give it up to Abbott. Abbott is a very perceptive dude, because he saw that Jane was up to something, and he was like, yeah, I, I kind of know what's going on here. I mean, I'm gonna be cool with this. I know this is not professional, but I'm gonna be cool with this. He was even like, Joe, dude, come on! You should know better. I mean, really, buddy. <laughs> Abbott. You the man. But now it's time to bring back a special edition of what worked. What worked? Jisbin edition. Now for me, there are three key moments in this episode that are full on murder the fandom. <laughs> I mean, murder the fandom moments in this episode. Moment number one, the reveal that the whole case and letter was a trick by Jane and Lisbon was furious. I mean, I've seen her mad, but that mad? Ooh, 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 the feels were real. Ooh, they were real. They were real and they were hurt. That, and But it led to this really awesome, tense, intense, and just tragic moment where they're talking through a door. I mean, I know it's a tad cliche, but you know what? Sometimes cliches work, and I thought that was awesome. So, awesome. Moment number two! Uh, you all know. You all know what moment number two was! <sighs> Jane telling Lisbon that he loved her. My God. O.M. Freaking a G. That was awesome. I cannot give it up enough for... Robin Tunney and Simon Baker, masterful performance, masterful moment. I mean, we, you know, you, you want this as a fan. You're like, look, I want these two characters to come together. But a lot of times it's disappointing, you know, because people want to be clever. They want to be like, we didn't want to make it into a thing. No, 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 no. We wanted a thing. I mean, I wanted a thing. Everybody wanted a thing. And I gotta say, we gave a thing. It was a nice thing. It was an awesome thing. It was an awesome moment. I mean, the, the, the tears were there. The breaking the law was there. I mean, Miami has terrible airport security, but I'm glad they do, because it led to this really awesome moment, and I thought that was... <sighs> it was a lot. Moment number three. <sighs> Lisbon coming back. And telling Jane that she loves him too. Well, she doesn't actually say the words, but she says that she feels the same way, which is kind of the same thing. But, yeah, she loves him too. I was like, oh my god. And then, and then, when you think it's all said and done, when the fandom is murdered, and they're dying, and they're like, oh, come on. What else could it be? What else could there be? Say it again. Say it again, and Jane, Jane, Jane pulled it off. He didn't even say a word. He just went there and just, Mwah! kiss, kiss, I tell you. 
I was like, feels. I literally almost felt the fandom dying of a heart attack at that exact moment, and then the end did there. Holy crap. I mean, way to freaking go. So, now you must be wondering, what didn't work in this episode? <laughs> come on, come on, come on! Nothing didn't work in this episode. I mean, some things probably didn't work really that well in this episode, but who cares? This has been happened. <laughs> Anyways, as you can clearly tell, I really, really, really enjoyed the season finale of The Mentalist, and I cannot wait I cannot literally wait to hear what you mentalistas and mentalistos have to say about this episode. I literally cannot wait. Like seriously, right now, can't wait at all. Before I wrap this up, I want to tell you that I am not done talking about the mentalists. I mean, after this huge finale, there's just a lot to digest. There's a lot to talk about and there's another season coming about. So. I'm going to do a wrap up video for the season, talking about season six, talking about what happened, talking about what we can expect. So I'm going to ask you two things. One, let me know what you thought about this episode in the comment section below. Two, also, please also give me your answers on the following two questions. One, what did you think of season six of The Mentalist? Two, what are you hoping for in season seven of The Mentalist? I will compile the most interesting and representative answers and I will include them in my follow-up video. So, that's all for me. This was a lot. This was very emotional, so I'm sorry if it was rambly, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do it. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. If you're new, make sure to subscribe because I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm just getting started talking about The Mentalist and all the other videos on Happy Cool. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.